Margaret Sullivan was an American actress who left an indelible mark on the film industry. Born in 99, she began her acting career on stage before transitioning to the big screen. In 1933, she made her film debut in Only Yesterday, which was a major success. Throughout her career, Sullivan appeared in numerous classic films, including The Light in the Piazza, Three Comrades, and The Shop Around the Corner. She was known for her ability to portray complex and nuanced characters, often playing women who were strong-willed and independent. Sullivan's talent for acting was recognized with several award nominations, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress in 1938. For her performance in Three Comrades, despite never winning an Oscar, she remained a respected and beloved figure in Hollywood. In addition to her work in film, Sullivan also returned to the stage periodically throughout her career. She appeared in several successful Broadway productions, including A Doll's House and The Voice of the Turtle. Sullivan's personal life was marked by both joy and tragedy. She was married and divorced three times and had three children. Tragically, her eldest son died by suicide in 1967, and her youngest son died in a car accident in 1973. Despite these personal struggles, Sullivan continued to act until her untimely death in 1960 at the age of 51. Her legacy as a talented and versatile actress continues to resonate with audiences today. Introducing actress Margaret Sullivan, a talented performer who has left a lasting impact on the world of film and theater. Have you ever been inspired or touched by the work of Margaret Sullivan? We would love to hear your personal stories and experiences related to this classic star. Is there a particular moment from one of her works that has had a lasting impact on you? And do you have a cherished memory or personal experience connected to Margaret Sullivan? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching this video as we have many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Margaret Sullivan coming up. Margaret Sullivan was born into a well-off family in Virginia in 1999. Her father, a respected doctor, and her mother, a socialite, encouraged her love for the arts. However, it was her tumultuous home life that truly shaped her. Despite her parents' divorce when she was young, they remained active in her upbringing. This instability may have fueled her passion for acting as a means of escape. Sullivan's early exposure to theater came from her grandmother, who often took her to plays in Boston. Enthralled by the stage, she decided to pursue acting professionally. After attending college for a short time, she left to study drama in Boston. During her time in Boston, she met and worked with Richard Aldrich, a stage manager and future husband. He became a significant influence and mentor in her career. Aldrich introduced her to influential theater professionals and helped her hone her craft. In 1933, Sullivan made her Broadway debut in A Modern Virgin. Her performance caught the attention of a Hollywood scout, leading to her first film role in Only Yesterday the following year. Despite her initial struggles in Hollywood, she persevered and became a successful film actress, known for her unique voice and emotional depth. Throughout her career, Sullivan worked with many notable actors and directors who undoubtedly influenced her craft. However, it was her early experiences and relationships that truly set the stage for her success as a talented actress. Margaret Sullivan was an actress who greatly influenced the film industry during her era and beyond. She made her Broadway debut in 1929 and quickly gained recognition for her unique talent. In 1933, she transitioned to Hollywood and appeared in numerous classic films such as Only Yesterday, The Mortal Storm, and Backstreet. Sullivan's contribution to Hollywood was significant. She was known for her distinctive voice and emotional depth, which set her apart from her contemporaries. Her ability to convincingly portray complex and nuanced characters helped to elevate the art of acting in film. The actress was also a trailblazer for women in the industry. She was one of the first actresses to form her own production company, which allowed her to have more control over her career and the role she played. Sullivan's influence extended beyond her own films. She mentored and inspired many young actors and actresses, including a young Katherine Hepburn. Her legacy continues to be felt in Hollywood today, with many modern actors citing her as a source of inspiration. Despite her success, Sullivan remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She once said, I have no formula for acting. I just try to do my best in every scene. This commitment to excellence and her natural talent made her one of the most respected and admired actresses of her time. In conclusion, Margaret Sullivan was a truly exceptional actress who left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her contributions to Hollywood and her influence on future generations of actors 
and actresses ensure that she will always be remembered as a classic Hollywood legend. As a young girl, Margaret Sullivan was often quiet and reserved. However, she discovered her passion for acting during her time at Stewart Hall School in Staunton, Virginia. It was there that she first took to the stage, captivating her peers and teachers with her natural talent. One pivotal moment came during a school production of the Mission play. Sullivan was assigned a minor role, but she was determined to make an impact. She poured her heart and soul into the part, and her performance left the audience in awe. Her teachers recognized her potential and encouraged her to pursue acting further. Sullivan's desire to act was fueled by her love for literature and her ability to bring characters to life. She once said, I have always been a great reader and I have always been a great lover of plays. I think that's what started me in acting, the love of books and the love of plays. After high school, Sullivan attended the Charleston School of Expression, where she honed her craft and learned the techniques of professional acting. She then moved to New York City to pursue a career on Broadway, where she quickly made a name for herself as a talented and captivating actress. Sullivan's passion for acting was evident in every performance, and she quickly became one of the most respected and admired actresses of her time. Her legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Margaret Sullivan and Robert Young shared the screen in three films, Three Comrades, The Shining Hour, and The Mortal Storm, their on-screen chemistry was undeniable. Later, in 1960, the actress's approaching deafness forced her to rely on lip reading, which worsened her depression. This ultimately led to her tragic suicide through a drug overdose. A new biography is set to shed more light on her life and death in August 2019. In the shop around the corner, Ernst Lubitsch postponed filming until both James Stewart and Margaret Sullivan were available, choosing to film Nanachka in the interim. The resulting film is a classic, with Sullivan's portrayal of Clara Novak remaining a standout performance. Margaret Sullivan, a talented actress, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born into a well-off family, she experienced a significant shift in circumstances when her father's business failed, leading to financial struggles. Despite these hardships, Sullivan's resilience shone through as she pursued her passion for acting. Navigating the world of theater, Sullivan encountered industry skepticism. Her petite stature and unique voice led some to doubt her potential for success. However, she refused to let others' opinions hinder her ambitions. Instead, she used her distinctive qualities to her advantage, crafting memorable performances that showcased her exceptional talent. Sullivan's determination led her to discover creative solutions for the obstacles she faced. She took charge of her career by co-founding the Theater Club, an experimental repertory company, with her husband, this venture allowed her to cultivate her skills and demonstrate her capabilities as a serious actress. As word spread about her exceptional performances, Sullivan's career began to flourish. She transitioned from stage to screen, captivating audiences in various film roles. Her ability to convey vulnerability and strength resonated with viewers, solidifying her status as a classic Hollywood star. Throughout her career, Margaret Sullivan overcame numerous challenges proving that resilience and determination can pave the way for success, even in the face of adversity. After starring in The Shop Around the Corner with James Stewart and Frank Morgan, Margaret Sullivan took on the role of Freya Roth in The Mortal Storm, released just six months later in 1940. The actress, who gave birth to her first child, Brooke Hayward, at the age of 28, was no stranger to personal tragedy. Her son, William Hayward, also took his own life in 2008 dying from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the heart at the age of 66. The circumstances surrounding William's death were reminiscent of the challenges that Margaret herself faced throughout her life and career. Margaret Sullivan's career was marked by several breakthrough moments that highlighted her acting prowess and versatility. In the late 1920s, she made her stage debut in a production of A Modern Virgin, which received mixed reviews but showcased her potential. In 1933, the actress gained critical acclaim for her role in Next Time We Love, a film that explored the complexities of marriage and relationships. Her co-star, James Dunn, praised her ability to convey emotion with subtlety and nuance. Sullivan's groundbreaking performance in The Good Fairy further solidified her status as a talented actress. The film, which was directed by William Wyler, featured the actress in a comedic role that showcased her range and versatility. Critics and audiences alike were captivated by her performance, which was described as charming and delightful. In 1937, the actress starred in The Shop Around the Corner, 
a classic romantic comedy that has since become a beloved holiday film. Her co-star, James Stewart, praised her ability to create a real and believable character that resonated with audiences. Throughout her career, Margaret Sullivan continued to push boundaries and challenge herself with diverse roles. Her contributions to the world of film and theater have left an indelible mark on the industry and continue to be cherished by audiences today. In June 1934, the actress was set to star in Within These Present, but the movie ended up never being made. Based on a story by Margaret Ayer Barnes, fans were left wondering what could have been. The actress, known for her tempestuous personality, worked with James Stewart in the shop around the corner. Despite her reputation for emotional outbursts, Stewart considered their collaboration one of the highlights of his career. His previous experience with her during their summer stock days gave him insight into how best to navigate her mood swings. Before becoming famous actors, both Stewart and the actress had been part of the university players where they met and formed close bonds. After realizing his passion for acting while working alongside them, Stewart decided to follow the actress and Henry Fonda to New York City to pursue his dreams. Margaret Sullivan's artistic vision was deeply personal and unique. She approached her work with a strong sense of authenticity, often drawing from her own experiences and emotions to bring depth and nuance to her characters. Her process was characterized by intense preparation and a deep understanding of the script, which allowed her to fully inhabit each role. The actress was known for her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and precision. She had a knack for finding the truth in each character, and her performances were often praised for their honesty and authenticity. Her unique style was marked by a naturalness and ease that made her characters relatable and memorable. Sullivan's personal experiences and worldview were often reflected in her work. She was a deeply empathetic person, and this quality was evident in her portrayal of vulnerable and sensitive characters. Her characters were often strong-willed and independent, reflecting her own fierce determination and resilience. Despite her success, the actress remained grounded and dedicated to her craft. She was known for her professionalism and her commitment to her art, and she continued to challenge herself with diverse and complex roles throughout her career. In this classic, Margaret Sullivan's artistic vision and process are a testament to her talent and dedication as an actress. Her unique approach to her work, marked by authenticity, subtlety, and emotional depth, continues to resonate with audiences today. Margaret Sullivan's college years were marked by significant theatrical experiences. While attending Harvard University, she shared the stage with future stars like James Stewart, Henry Fonda, and Kent Smith as part of the university players. Despite these opportunities, she made a notable decision early in her career. The role of Ellie Andrews in It Happened One Night, which later earned Claudette Colbert a Best Actress Oscar, was initially offered to Sullivan, but she turned it down. As her career progressed, Margaret Sullivan became intertwined with prominent figures in the industry. She was a former mother-in-law to both Peter Dutchin and Dennis Hopper, forming connections that span generations. These relationships highlight the extensive network of the actress's life and career. Margaret Sullivan was an American actress who left an indelible mark on Hollywood with her unique blend of vulnerability and strength. Born April 16, 1909, she made her stage debut in 1929 and quickly gained recognition for her distinctive voice and emotive performances. Transitioning to films in the early 1930s, Sullivan became known for her ability to convey complex emotions through subtle gestures and nuanced delivery. Her work challenged conventional norms, often portraying strong-willed female characters who defied societal expectations. This shift laid the groundwork for future generations of actresses to explore more dynamic roles. Director Ernst Lubitsch once noted, she has something I cannot describe, a quality that makes you watch her whenever she is on screen. Indeed, many industry insiders admired Sullivan's talent and dedication. James Stewart, one of her frequent co-stars, said, I learned more about acting from Maggie than from anyone else. Sullivan's influence extended beyond her individual performances. She founded the theater group, which later evolved into the American Repertory Theater, promoting artistic growth and fostering new talents. Additionally, her collaborative efforts with influential directors like Frank Borzage and William Wyler helped shape cinema history during its golden age. Despite retiring from acting in 1943 due to personal reasons, Sullivan remains a revered figure in Hollywood. Her contributions continue to resonate today, inspiring contemporary artists and reminding us all of the power of authenticity and passion in storytelling. 
and Three Comrades, the actress Margaret Sullivan portrayed Patricia Hallman, a woman battling tuberculosis. Despite her grave illness, she consistently appeared with a fully made-up face, complete with dramatic false eyelashes, eyeshadow, and bright red lipstick. This choice seemed unusual, but it was common practice during that era for actors to wear heavy makeup regardless of their character's circumstances. Later, in the shop around the corner, Sullivan took on the role of Clara Novak opposite James Stewart. Their chemistry proved so popular that the Screen Guild Theater featured them in a 30-minute radio adaptation of the film, which aired on September 29, 1940. Listeners were treated to performances by Sullivan, Stewart, and Frank Morgan, all reprising their original roles. Interestingly, during the making of The Good Fairy, Sullivan found love when she and director William Wyler exchanged vows. Her performance as Louisa demonstrated both her talent and the couple's evident connection. Margaret Sullivan was known for her dedication to family and friends. She valued close relationships above all else, often putting them before her career. In fact, she turned down several roles that would have required her to spend extended periods away from her loved ones. Her commitment to her personal life greatly influenced her portrayal of strong-willed yet compassionate characters on screen. The actress had a deep love for music and theater, which began during her childhood. This passion stayed with her throughout adulthood and played a significant role in shaping her artistic choices. Many of the films she chose featured musical themes or were adaptations of popular stage productions. Sullivan also held progressive political views and used her platform to advocate for social change. During World War II, she actively supported relief efforts by volunteering her time and resources to organizations assisting soldiers overseas. After the war, she remained committed to helping veterans reintegrate into society. Additionally, she championed women's rights and fought tirelessly against discrimination in Hollywood. Her philanthropic endeavors went beyond just supporting military families and promoting equality. She was also involved in various charitable organizations dedicated to improving education, health care, and living conditions for underprivileged communities. Despite facing numerous challenges in both her personal and professional lives, Margaret Sullivan never wavered from her convictions and consistently stood up for what she believed in. Margaret Sullivan, a talented actress, faced significant challenges due to a congenital hearing defect, otosclerosis. As she aged, her hearing deteriorated, causing her to strain to hear low tones better than high ones, which gave her voice its distinctive throatiness. In 1936, Universal announced Strangers at the Feast as one of its planned productions for the year, with Sullivan set to star. However, before filming began, she was replaced by Jane Wyatt, and the project was eventually canceled. One of Sullivan's notable film roles was in Three Comrades, where she played Patricia Hallman. Before production, the actress expressed her difficulties with F. Scott Fitzgerald's dialogue, finding it impossible to recite. In response, producer Joseph L. Mankiewicz and screenwriter Edward E. Paramore Jr. rewrote most of the screenplay's dialogue to accommodate her concerns. Despite her hearing issues, Sullivan's acting career flourished, and she became known for her distinctive voice and compelling performances. Her ability to adapt and overcome obstacles in her professional life serves as an inspiration for aspiring actors and actresses. Margaret Sullivan, a gifted actress, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her nuanced performances and distinctive voice captivated audiences, making her a beloved figure in classic Hollywood. Despite facing challenges in her career, including being underestimated due to her gender, she persevered and became a symbol of strength and talent. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Sullivan would likely offer the following advice first. Never underestimate the power of hard work and dedication. Success in the entertainment industry requires more than just talent. It demands persistence, resilience, and a willingness to learn and grow. Second, embrace your uniqueness and don't be afraid to take risks. Sullivan was known for her unconventional beauty and distinctive voice, which set her apart from her peers. By embracing what makes you different, you can carve out your own niche and stand out in a crowded field. Finally, remember that the industry is constantly evolving and it's essential to stay adaptable and open to new opportunities. While Sullivan's career spanned the golden age of Hollywood, she also appeared on stage and television, demonstrating her versatility and willingness to explore new mediums. Looking to the future, the legacy of Margaret Sullivan can serve as a reminder of the importance of authenticity, hard work, and adaptability in the entertainment industry. By following her example, aspiring professionals can honor her legacy 
while forging their own paths to success. After finding success in the 1940 film The Shop Around the Corner, based on Miklos Laszlo's play Elitzertar, actress Margaret Sullivan became closely associated with this beloved story. Over time, it would inspire various adaptations including the musical She Loves Me. Despite initial mixed reception, the tale persevered through multiple productions, and even entered the digital era with 1998's You Got Mail, featuring Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. Tragically, Margaret Sullivan's life was marked by personal loss. Her oldest daughter, also an actress named Brooke Hayward, shared their family struggles in her best-selling memoir Haywire published in 1981. Additionally, Sullivan's youngest child, Bridget, passed away just 10 months after her mother due to a suspected suicide by drug overdose, eerily mirroring her mother's own untimely demise. At only 21 years old, Bridget's life ended far too soon. Born in 1999, Margaret Sullivan embarked on her acting career after facing initial struggles, eventually finding success on Broadway. Her distinctive voice and vulnerable charm set her apart, leading Hollywood to take notice. In the mid-1930s, she made her mark in films like Only Yesterday and The Shop Around the Corner. Throughout her career, the actress chose roles carefully, often playing strong-willed women who captured audiences' hearts. Despite personal hardships, including hearing difficulties, she continued to innovate through dedication to her craft. After leaving Hollywood behind, she returned to theater and radio work until her untimely death in 1960. Sullivan's legacy continues to resonate today, inspiring future generations of performers. She leaves us with a powerful reminder of creativity and persistence. Never let obstacles hinder one's pursuit of passion. This classic tale serves as an analogy of history demonstrating how determination can etch an indelible mark in the landscape of the entertainment industry. Even now, we can step into the world she helped create and cherish the enduring impact she left behind. In a 1940s Architectural Digest piece, Margaret Sullivan revealed her fondness for New England, which led her to choose a Connecticut-style colonial home in Brentwood, California. This preference for the Northeastern aesthetic was further demonstrated when she and her then-husband, Leland Hayward, bought a rambling salt box house on 100 acres in Brookfield, Connecticut. Sullivan's romantic life was as dynamic as her career. She was married to Henry Fonda for two years, although they separated after only four months. However, it was during the filming of The Good Fairy that she found love again, this time with director William Wyler. Despite her difficult behavior on set, which included intentionally delaying filming, the two eventually married. Behind the scenes of The Good Fairy, Sullivan's actions were less than endearing. She would grow tired and smear her makeup, forcing production to stop for several hours while she was made up again. Additionally, she would lay down on the dusty floor during breaks, ruining her pristine white dress. These antics, while disruptive, did not stop her and Wyler from falling in love. In summary, Margaret Sullivan was an actress who had a clear vision for her personal life and career. Despite her demanding behavior on set, she was able to find love and build a life that reflected her New England roots. As you reflect on the career of Margaret Sullivan, consider the impact she had on Hollywood. Her distinctive voice and vulnerable charm set her apart in every role she played. In films like Three Comrades and The Shop Around the Corner, she brought depth and nuance to characters that could have been one-dimensional. This actress was not afraid to take on challenging roles, often portraying strong-willed women who defied societal expectations. She made it look easy, but her performances required great skill and dedication. Even in lighter fare, like the major and the minor, she infused her character with warmth and humor. Her work continues to resonate today because of its timeless quality. Each performance feels fresh and relevant even decades after they first hit the silver screen. That's quite an accomplishment. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts about Margaret Sullivan's work and legacy in the comments below. What are some of your favorite movies featuring this talented actress? How has her work influenced other actors or films over the years? Let us know. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's keep these classics alive for future generations to enjoy.